Hmm. Here we have the 61 plate, 2011 Ford C-Max, Grand C-Max. So it's a little bit longer than a standard C-Max and you get seven seats. So I'm going to talk you through some of the car's lovely features. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's the titanium model, which means we're getting quite a few toys on this one. We've got some lovely alloy wheels there, some 16 inch alloys. Sorry, I had to think for a minute then. Loads of tread on the front there. Looks like it's just been replaced. Got on the side of the car. Finishing the metallic ink blue. Got been a Grand C Max, it means we have sliding doors. So people who want to sit right in the back can get so in ease. Now if you look here, we have a big gap in the middle because hiding in here is a seat. Very clever, folds out in a jiffy. Just like that. We have a seat. So you have three in the middle of a moment. To get rid of it, there's a lever on the back here. Red lever, pull that red lever. Seat will fold down. So you can either leave it as it is there. Got another little lever here. Pull that lever up. A bit tricky doing this one handed, but I've had a bit of practice. Seat just folds away in there back into place again. Really versatile seating. These seats got a couple of handles on here. One handle lets you slide the seat backwards and forwards. The other enables you to shift it out the way. So you can see there's lots of room to actually get into the back there. We have Ford's Easy Fuel. So you can't, there's no fuel cap to actually remove to take off to put the diesel in. Now, some of you may be thinking, what if I'm filling up, someone gets out the back, something like that, filling away, and then the door comes and opens. Well, I will show you. As you open the door, it won't let me go past there. You see, filling up, door won't go beyond there. So there's a safety mechanism in place, so you won't actually get hurt. I've popped a little luggage cover underneath the car, just to show there is one with it. I'll show you the back here. So this is the third row of seats. So these are the seats in the back. So you can have both folded down flat or you can have them like so. To fold the seat, all you do is pull that lever and the seat goes into the back there. Really, really easy to use. And you do have a luggage cover, which I don't think I can put on with just one hand. So I'm just gonna leave it in the boot with a little bit of snow. Don't worry, we'll throw that in for free. I'll show you down the side of the car, it's nice and straight. We have parking sensors on the back. So if you're coming from a smaller car, needing a bigger car, it does make life a lot easier. So it's sliding doors at both sides. And we have little tables in the back as well. Let's have a little bit of storage in there, should you ever need it. Move around the front of the car. It's in just under 35,000 miles. One or two age related marks, but overall it is a really nice looking car. So I shall now show you some of the features inside. It's a bit warmer in there as well, it's a bit chilly, aren't you? So we have the keyless in, keyless go. There's no key to put in. All you do is put the key in your pocket, press down the brake, and start the engine. That's beeping at me. Seatbelt info. So if there's uh, someone in the back who decides they're a bit better than everybody else and they don't want to fasten the seatbelt, it will tell you. So even the people right in the back can't get away with it. So what do we have in here? We have power folding mirrors, four electric windows, and you do have a lock function as well, so we can lock the windows and the doors. You can still use them in the front, but the people in the back can't. 
We've got automatic lights, cruise control and speed limiter of the automatic gearbox with sport function. So you can change up and down should you wish to do so. Dual zone climate control, heated front and rear windscreens, heated front windscreen no doubt if you had some of a frost like we have the last couple of weeks. Going out to the car, scraping it, not my favourite thing in the world. You've got the heated front windscreen, it makes life much easier. And I'll show you what happens if you do put it into reverse as well. The parking sensors kick in and you actually have a little part pilot, which at the bottom there, can't really show you because it would not be safe to do so, but it will actually show you when you start getting close to an object, it will start going from red, sorry, green to amber to red and it will give you an audible sign as well. So we have the Sony digital stereo system with nine speakers, it's a really good system. That also has Bluetooth, so you can listen to your music through your phone and make calls hands-free, because we do have voice activation. I'll show you around the inside of the car. The seats are in very good condition, to be honest. I'll show you the passenger seat there as we're going around. I would show you every single thing in the car, but it would take me quite a while. dashboard no cracks on the dashboard although the car does have 32,000 miles it has got a full service history to back it up it was a motability vehicle so it's been well looked after changes gear very very smoothly I've driven it a few miles down here it's absolutely faultless have a nice little storage bin up there sunglasses hold up Automatic dimming rear view mirror, we've got automatic lights and wipers. So if you would like any more information on the car, please don't hesitate to give us a ring. Either speak to David or Mark on 01132 534 901. Fan exchange is welcome and we have many finance options available.